Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amberly Nicole for the ones that are new. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A on my sister lot journey, so stay tuned. So today we're going to be talking about my sister lot. So if you see me looking down, I have some notes here and I don't want to miss anything. And it's thundering and lightning outside. So who is the creator of Sister Lots? Sister Lots was created by Dr. Joanne Cornwell um, back in 1993. So Sister Lux is a tiny uniform um, technique for natural style and hair. And they're very small, but uniform and technique. They don't require any chemicals or extensions. So that's what I love about it. It's just your hair growing out of your head and just feeling good that you can touch your scalp. Um, sometimes when I was finding different, trying to find different hairstyles, I was not with my natural hair I was not um, satisfied so I was like okay let's try something different here so that's gonna be later on in the video so how long have I been natural I've been natural since 2016 uh, and I permed it in June 2022 and then went back natural January of 2022 and during that time I was just trying to find different styles to do um, you know like protective styles on it and that's when I was looking for something different I was just not satisfied with how my hair was coming out when I twist out so I used to do twist outs on my hair I was just not satisfied with it so I was just like let's try something different and why not sister locks so these were done January of 2023 on the 6th I had them now for roughly two about two months why did I choose sister lock so again I contemplated over and over about sister locks and I was just like I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want to commit to something like that because it's something that you know I can't it's it's some styles that you can do with it but I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to it just yet so I was just kind of like mm, I don't know I'm gonna keep trying with my natural hair my my fro um but i was just not retaining length i was just not getting i was just not satisfied with it again i wasn't getting to the right length that i wanted my hair so um my relative also had one of my relatives also have sister locks so and i love how her hair grew um she's been natural for a long period of time as well and i seen the length that she had retained so i was just like let me try that and i just went ahead and, and got it done how much was the install so it depends on the length of your hair I started off with five inches of hair so it's pretty short so the shorter the, the shorter your hair is the less that you will have to pay um, so mine was like in the 600s I would say I'm not gonna give the full price but it was in the 600s so we have to remember that it is an investment so it's um, a lot of money but again it's an investment something that you know it's a long-term thing so you just have to really contemplate with that how long did it take for me to get my sister locks installed so guys it took a roughly about two days um so i begin at eight in the morning finished at five and we will break for like an hour lunch um so roughly about nine to ten hours within that day and then I will break in and then continue the next morning. But my sister, my technician, she was pretty um, fast. So I was thankful for that. So we was able to get it done in a good amount of time. And we just watched TV and did, you know, just did things over on your phone to keep you, you know, not staring at the clock. How much and how often are my reties? So my reties are anywhere from four to six weeks. Again, it depends on your hair and how it grows out of your head. Um, I know different people have different textures, so that kind of matters as well. But my hair is thick and coarse, and I have 4C hair, which my hair is tight and it's coily. So that also depends on the um, texture of your hair um, and how, how long it grows or how much it grows. So um, anywhere between six to seven weeks is when I go get my reties. Um, it's roughly about a hundred to thirty-five dollars to a hundred and forty dollars. Um, so that's it's not too bad. I'll pay the money for my hair to get retied. I see some girls um, train themselves to retie their own hair, but I don't want to tear my hair up. 
and I don't want to be sitting there in the mirror for hours and hours trying to retie it so no thank you I'm gonna pay that hundred and thirty five dollars or how much it costs to get it done so how long has it been again it's been about two months since I had it I got it installed in January it's been about two um two months I do see some growth I try not to stare at my hair and stare at the clock and get the measuring tape out to measure my hair but I'm enjoying the process I try to dress it up as much as possible by doing twist outs on it so I do like braid outs um to stretch it out because my hair can also string um uh, you know when I had my fro as well it, it it was I had a lot of shrinkage so uh, I do a lot of braid outs to stretch out my hair and to give it a style so it's no difference from when you have your fro but um, it give you a nice stretch and it's really pretty and I also do um, like rod like rod my hair like make it curly so I put rods in it the products that I use so when you first start off with sister locks you're not supposed to use any products um, your technician will tell you what to use but I she advised me to use um, water so to spray my hair I say to wake them up so I just spray 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 and I don't have my 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 um, my spray that I spray it with with me so I use this right now until I get me um, my my spray back I misplaced it um the next thing that I use is Carol's daughter black vanilla and it's for moisture and shine it's, it's like a leave-in condition it's a hydrating system I use this and I love it it makes your hair smells really good and um I know we're not supposed to put oil in our hair when you first get it done because it's a thing called slippage. Your hair will slip and you will have to keep getting it retightened because it's not yet locked yet. Even though it's interlocked, it's not quite locked. It, it takes about six to a year to lock your hair, but again, it depends on your hair texture. Um, I also use this pink and it's a glosser and it adds shine and eliminates frizz you will have some frizz again it depends on your texture of hair you will have frizz um and it's for relaxed and natural hair as well but it comes with shea butter jojoba oil and aloe so this is it right here and i love this i just spray and go okay and it's raining y'all so if y'all hear thunder ignore uh, for my oils, I do Joba oil, and I've been using oil, it's been like two months now, and I'm just like, I need some oil in my hair because it's super dry, and it gets super itchy, so I use a little, little thing of oil, I don't put too much in it, okay, and I do maybe every two, every other day or every two days, so I won't just drench it, my hair is like a sponge, it soaks up, I have high porosity hair, meaning that it dries quick and it get dry quick okay when your hair is wet like if i can go put my hair under water and it dries up really quickly like i haven't done i haven't put my hair under water the next thing that i use for a shampoo i have to only use shampoo right now i can't use conditioner because again my hair is not yet locked even though it's interlocked it's not yet locked and i don't want no slippage i don't want to have to start over so i'm just really trying to go by the book but they tell you to get clarifying shampoo so you can get all that dirt out of your hair so it can be clean so it won't retain any lint or any um product bill so i use taraji p henson clarifying shampoo and it gives it a little moisture because we have to retain some of our oils in there so that's pretty good and it's for cleanse, detox, and hydrate. I like it. Pros. I, um, so for my pros and cons. So one of my pros is that once I do a braid out on my hair, I can easily just take it out, shake it, put in my products that I use, and go. Just sprix it with water. And also... Um, just go like take it down the braid out fix it shake it and go put on your makeup 
your everyday wear and go the con is it does itches due to the dryness because you can't put any products in there just yet but it is so worth it like they say this too shall pass it's gonna pass like you just really have to be patient with your hair and I know people talk about the awkward phase of locks, but really you just have to enjoy the awkward phase. You have to enjoy every phase that your hair go go into and just love, spread some love on your hair. I talk to my hair. I know that's the weirdest thing ever, but it helps, okay? Your hair needs love. Black hair needs love, okay? So I have to talk to it, wake up. I'll be spraying it with my water. I'll be spritzing it. Right now I don't have my spray bottle to show you guys what... Um, bottle that I use but it's a bigger bottle than that it's just my travel size that I use for the spritz and different pros and cons not really a con I like it because it's low maintenance and you don't have to do as much as you would do with your real hair so I just find it as all pros minus the dryness and the itchiness when you first start off but it will pass um, and the thickness of it that you see um, your hair it just becomes thick over time as you continue to get your retides as you should shampoo your hair and just can you know just condition your hair with love and applying some moisture to it um, it will grow on you okay so tips so make sure your loctician is certified um, so no one will, will misquote you so make sure you go to sisterlocks.com and they will have the locticians in your area your city and state so make sure if they say, hey girl, you know, I'm a loctician, I can do your hair, make sure you verify with the sister lock. It is a brand, so they have to be qualified for it, guys. Don't be misquoted, don't let nobody get over on you, okay? Um, another thing, so braid and band. So when, you, when you're washing your hair, it's a thing where you have to um, braid and band your hair because you're not, it's not yet locked. So that is vital, so you won't have any slippage. Or you won't have to start this process all over it because you're not following the direction. Yes, it gets tiring after a while. Like, girl, I'm just going to go wash my hair freely. But make sure you braid, braid and band. And make sure you have color bands. I have, I use colored bands for my hair so I won't tear my the ends of my hair off. So I make sure I use colored bands and the thin ones. Sometimes I use the thick ones, but the thin ones will work as well. Also, do not use rubber bands. If you use rubber bands, you will tear off the ends of your hair and you don't want that. You will be crying. I was crying because I, I used rubber bands and I didn't use um, like, you know, a cloth one. So please do not use rubber bands. Please take it from me. I had almost a meltdown trying to take my hair out of those rubber bands, out of the braid and band. And you want to pre-shampoo your hair. So pre-shampoo uh, pre it. When I say that, when you braid and band your hair, um, make sure you spray your water, get your water bottle, spray, 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 like, you know, just soak your hair, get your shampoo, and you just go through your hair, and just make sure the poo get everywhere, because this is a, a braid and band, so you're not just, it's not a free, your hair is not free, so make sure you want to get in there and get that product, the products out. Also, a microfiber towel for your hair to avoid lint, and when I say that, I have this right here and I love this okay you can get it for Walmart for like five dollars and you're gonna need it it's vital because you don't want that length to get in your hair when you just kind of trying to dry it with a, um, a towel or you can use a shirt I rather use my microfiber always use a satin but uh, bu um, I'm sorry a satin bonnet when you go to sleep that way again you still have to take care of your hair as if it was like free and you're froze so make sure you use a set and bunnet or a scarf and just remember guys everybody hair type is different everybody here is different so do not compare your hair to other people that will be it won't be good because you won't enjoy your hair you won't pay attention to your hair even though it's good to look at other people um you know like oh i can't wait till my hair get that lean i do it all the time but i say amber you know focus on your hair because eventually your hair will get there so guys that's all that i have for you guys if you have any questions leave them down in the comment and i will be able to get back to you but just enjoy the process guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and share with a friend peace